talk to my dog. I mean, this game was a little personal for me. You know, I took this to heart. You know, um, I got cut last year or the last game of the season before we played Buffalo. And, I mean, I feel like it was just a shot to my face. So when I made that play, when I, every time I made, I let, just let the whole sideline over there hear me and feel me. You always do that, though, the energy you bring. Um, yeah, but right? the, the energy was yeah. just a little bit different today. <laughs> it was something about it. It was just a little bit different. I had to let they whole sideline. After that set, that's why I celebrate so long. I probably ran 50 yards, but I was just letting them know I still got it. You know what I'm saying? Did you have any inclination that was going to happen last year? Like, was that totally out of the blue? Nah, that was out of the blue. It was out of the blue. It was just out of the blue, you know? I'm thinking I'm coming in, about to get ready to play Buffalo last game of the season. I got cut on a Friday. So that was just kind of like a little shot in my face. What about, the energy, what about the energy across the defensive line and defense with Vaughn out? You know it's the second game, but first one with him out for the season. What was the vibe amongst your group? Oh, man. You know, it, uh, Greg popped it off, and AJ. We all just fed off each other. And we knew coming in it was going to be their D-line versus our D-line. Whoever D-line performed the better was going to win this game. And we made some crucial plays towards the end and stuff like that. Shaq, what does that do for the room as a whole, for this group's confidence moving forward with, now that you don't have Vaughn after a performance like that? Oh, yeah, it, it built our confidence up. You know, each week we, we continue to get better, you know, starting with the older guys and younger guys between me and to all the way Boog, AJ, and Greg. We just feed off each other. Like, I'll be telling them boys, like, bro, I mean, they draft y'all for a reason. Y'all got drafted first, second round for a reason. Like, if you think about it, all our DNs either first or second round picks uh, in the past. So, I mean, they drafted them, drafted them, and they bought me back for a reason. So I feel like we could do it. And, and that's why I just tell them, boy, just have faith, continue to have faith. You always want the offense humming, but defensively as a group, do you guys kind of take pride in shouldering the load like you did today? Yeah, you take pride in that. And you take pride because, you know, those them boys ran over us last, uh, last game. And me, I ain't set the edge a couple plays last game. so. My whole goal was like, we need to stop this run, and, and we're going to finish on our end. Like, the last 40, 50 seconds, we were like, I told him, boy, I said, we're going to finish this game out. And AJ made a big play to knock the ball down, fourth down. I saw you embracing Mike after the game. What does it say about his toughness after the shots that he took to keep battling out there, Mike White? Man, Mike White tough. You know, um, and I played with that guy last year. You know, he was a credible player. Um, I just told him, man, just told him I'm proud of you, man. I just seen where you came from. From the third depth chart quarterback to number one, like he won a couple games last year for them boys, and I just kept telling him to keep going, man. He showed that dog, you know. You know, most quarterbacks would have laid down and after the second hit and said no, but I just told him keep going, keep working. Shaq, you spoke so highly about Matt Milano in the past. What did you see out of him today? Dog, uh, the game changed when we have him. You know, um, you could tell when we got Matt Milano, he's he flying around the field making plays, TFL, hands on the balls. He's just all around the ball, so it's changed. You see a difference when we don't have Matt Milano when we got him. Did it feel particularly since he was out the last game against the Jets? Like, yeah. how tangible was it today specifically? Yeah, it was, it was. You can tell from the last game to this game he was out. Um, he made big plays over the field, got his hand on a couple balls. I mean, Matt, man, Matt been doing that since he got on the field. Like, that's why I told Matt it's a special kid. I remember his first game ever getting in, right? He had like a pick six, so he's just a special player. You know what you're going to get from each and week in, week out. For any of those plays today, which one stood out the most, maybe, when there were so many? I don't even know. I'd be caught up in the game, so I don't really think about what plays stood out the most. I just know if they negative play or a sack, it's a big play.